on the G20, uh, are you seeking bilateral talks with Vladimir Putin about MH17? Oh, absolutely. Uh, look, I'm going to uh, shirt front, Mr. Putin. Uh, you bet you are. Uh, you bet I am. Uh, I am going to uh, be saying to Mr. Putin, um, Australians were murdered. Uh, they were murdered by Russian-backed rebels using Russian-supplied equipment. Uh, we are very unhappy about this. Uh, we accept that you didn't want this to happen, but we now demand that you fully cooperate with the criminal investigation and if the criminal investigation uh, identifies suspects uh, that you have some influence over, they've got to be produced and justice has got to be done. Bill, Bill Shorten says that you could have stopped Vladimir Putin coming to Australia if you wanted to. That's true, isn't it? If, if Australia or if the government decided that he wasn't coming to the G20, you could have made that decision. I'm a bit disappointed that uh, Mr Shorten seems to be playing politics with this issue. Uh, he knows I know, uh, we all know, that uh, while Australia is the president of the G20 this year, uh, we can't make unilateral decisions. Uh, it has to be by consensus, and the G20 consensus is that Russia should come. Now, I think that uh, there'll be a lot of tough conversations with Russia, uh, and I suspect that the conversation that I have with Mr Putin will be the toughest conversation of all, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's not up to us to determine who is and who is not a member of the G20. Uh, I want the G20 to continue. I want Australia to be a constructive and strong member of the G20. Uh, I don't want to be a G20 wrecker.